go! What up, y'all? Welcome back to another one. I'm not going to do a long intro. None of that. We're getting right to it. I warned y'all about uh, the gentleman we have in at the lodge, and he brought his hawk. He is... Uh, he does falconry, and it's amazing. We're going to... Uh, he has a whole plan to try to catch a rabbit out back in my backyard here. And never done it. We're going to see how it goes. Check it out. All right. You got to get a, give everybody the lowdown. Who you are. Where are you from? Why'd you come here, first of all? Talk with you. Yeah. That was Just a reason. viewer, right? A sub. Yes, How sir. long have you been watching the channel? Uh, three or four years, probably. Wow. I, mean, I didn't know it was that I long. was watching you from like 40, 50,000 subscribers, and I subscribed to like 70. Oh, wow. So it's been, so a, it's while. been a while. Yeah. Well, yep. you know we're glad you're here. Yep. We had a bunch of fun today on today's hunt. Absolutely. You brought your girl with you. Yes, sir. Uh, what's her name? What is she? Storm. She's a red-tailed hawk. It's her second season. Um, I trapped her as a passage bird. So passage bird meaning they're less than a year old. They're on their first migration. Oh, gotcha. Look at her. Um, so now she would be considered a hag, haggard bird, an adult. Gotcha. Gotcha. She's ready to go. Yeah. She's hungry, right? Oh yeah. She's pretty hungry. Yeah. There she is in all her beauty. He got her out so yesterday. Now, and let me tell you, she looks right through you. The amount of predators she Fred, over here. He's freaking her out. Fred, come on. Sit. She does not like the dog underneath her. No, nah, to her, that's no different than a, a coyote. Right. Yeah. She right. doesn't know he, it's dog, coyote, all the same to her. Right. So. What, um, what does everybody at home need to need to know before we get going or, or anything? Uh, you have to be licensed to have a bird of prey. Um, you, uh, you, if you would like to get into it, contact your local falconry organization, um, show your face, uh, meet up with guys, go out with them. A um, ton of women do it. There's actually more women in my apprentice class than there wow. are men. That's awesome. Um, but so you, you would, uh, if you wanted to get into it, you would find a sponsor, agree to somebody to sponsor you. Gotcha. Um, take a test. You have to pass the test with an 80% or higher. Um, and then after you pass the test, somebody agrees to sponsor you, you build your facilities. Uh, it's called a MU. And then when you have that built, you get your equipment. When all that's squared away, the state will come out and inspect everything. Gotcha. If everything's good to go, they'll issue you a trapping permit and you're ready to start. And what's awesome about this, it's such a it is the most traditional style of hunting that i've ever seen in my life yeah so falconry is the oldest field sport that we know of um it's over five thousand years old it originally was a way for you to put meat on your table right. so before guns before bows before all right. that people realized this bird can catch a rabbit no problem um you obviously cannot so it originated people would go out they would trap a bird train it hunt it through the winter months um, when food's hard to come by. And then in the springtime, we didn't have refrigeration, so nobody kept birds through the summertime. And food was plentiful in the summer. So yeah, right. uh, you'd let them go in the springtime. Um, most everybody releases their bird in the springtime now. Gotcha. Uh, it has to be a wild caught bird to release really? it. You can't release a, uh, a bought bird. Right. Um, but if you'd like to keep your bird, you can keep it for as long as you'd like. Oh, really? Yep, you can gotcha. keep it for for 20 years if you wanted. So how long have you had her? I've had her for a year. A year? Um, and and I did, so did you try, so did you catch her? Yes. You caught her? Yeah. Um, I did not plan on keeping her through after the first season, um, but we did really, really well together. Um, so I decided to keep her through the end of my apprenticeship. She is so cool. So That's unreal that she was wild. You caught her and now she is yep. literally your left hand man. Yep. <laughs> I mean, it's crazy yes, to see how she just responds to you. Yeah. Well, we're going to get going. Uh, we got a tall tree over here. You say you want to try to land her up in the top of the tree. Yep. And then we have a bunch of hedge, bush, some wild grasses. We're going to walk it out and try to flush out a rabbit. We got We should have a bunch of cottontails out here. See if she can catch her a rabbit. I want to stick him inside. Okay. I'll go, while, put, I put yeah. her up. I'll go put old Frederick inside. Come on, buddy. Um, so ideally, she'd be up on that. Oh, up on the pole? Yeah. Oh, the high. high so, the red tail's advantage is a high perch. High perch. They're not fast birds at all. Uh, they're pouncers. So, the higher up that bird gets, yeah. the faster they can come down. 
Um, goshawks, they're fast enough to fly a rabbit down, fly across the ground. Oh. Red tails are not. Yeah. Like I said, they're pouncers. So the higher a perch they have, the more... They can have more force coming down. Yeah, more successful. Yep. Just because they're a bigger bird probably? or. And so red tails, they're a bootio, which is a big soaring hawk. Um, they're built, they're not built for speed, they're built for energy conservation. Hmm. So they can just ride a thermal. They don't even have to flap like a, a vulture. Oh, gotcha. Um, other hawk, like goshawks, cooper's hawks, um, that's an occipiter. It's a forest hawk. So their wings are not as wide. They're shorter and rounder. Their tail's longer. Um, they're built for thrust and agility. Because gotcha. they're bird hunters. Right. So. All right, we're going to follow you. You do your thing. Y'all ready? So he's going to let her go here. She should perch up in this tall tree. We got another crew. She might go to the house. There she goes. Oh, she goes right. Look, you know her too well. Yep. <laughs> she went right to the tree. Yep. You know we, her we too well. We have some some experience together. That's, Go ahead. That is so cool. So there she is. So, I'm not going to be able to zoom in a bunch. She she landed right there. Go ahead. So now, uh, when a rabbit runs out, rabbit squirrel, whatever it is, you just let get make a game call. Um, you can say whatever you want. Everybody in the falconry community says ho ho ho, like you're Santa Claus. Right. Um, but it's just to get the bird's attention. That's, I was wondering what the bell's for. Now, so, I, now I understand. The bells are so oh, you don't she have goes. to watch her. There she goes. Oh, no, so she she's, she's, perch. she perched right over top of them because yep. they're beating the brush. So she, oh, knows. she knows. We're standing here. She's right. smart. She knows that we're not doing That's anything crazy, for her right now. Man. So she, they're beating the brush right there. That's where she went. Yep. So part of this... She needs to be hungry when you do it. Absolutely. So yeah. you, you were telling me earlier about her food intake, weight management. Yeah, every every meal they get is weighed out. Um, mm -hmm. They're weighed once a day. Uh, the larger birds are weighed once a day. Um, the micro falcons, kestrels, merlins, they're weighed two times a day minimum, sometimes three times a day. Mm -hmm. um, and they're kept indoors. Um, when you have drastic temperature changes, it makes it hard to manage the weight on a bird that's so small. Gotcha. Um, this is this is unreal. So, we got we got the kids, we got the wife, we got all the boys walking the brush. She, oh, oh, we got a rabbit. Where'd it go? This is why. Went up in here. That you always chase them into there. This way. That's crazy. Oh, there, wrong she way. Got it. Wrong way. Now she just went, so she originally she perched here, she went to the top of that evergreen, and now she's on that one. There's a rabbit that flushed out of here, into here. I'm just going to have to keep filming, y'all. If you liked it, if you liked this video, smash a thumbs up. This is... Let's go! This is cool. It's like I like watching Come on. traffic, dude. <laughs> This way, let's go! She uh, she could see something over there. Yeah. Um, but she did just come out of the box. So normally when they come right out of the box, they're not in hunting mode yet. They got to have some time to themselves. Yeah. So there she just crapped. Uh-huh. So <laughs> that's a good sign. This way, come on! That's crazy, man. What a deal. This way, ho! Oh, there she is. Perfect. Alright guys, we're gonna go push this now. Go ahead. <laughs> so now here she is. So now, now we're in hunting mode. Right there. Now she's in hunting mode. Now we're gonna walk this grass out. This is where we just flushed the rabbit. I'm following you, Daddy. Bubba, be be careful. This is some thick stuff. Oh, there she goes. There she goes. She sees something. This is so cool. Oh, another perch. Landed in the neighbors. I'm, I, assume, I bet you that rabbit went in that stuff over there. So you guys want to head over there. Yeah. How cool, man. 
How long have you been doing this anyway? This is my second season. Second um, season? Yeah. Wow. So I've known about it for quite a while. Uh, I just didn't have the time. Right. There is a significant time investment. I can. And uh, when I was in school, you come home from school, you still have schoolwork to do. When I get home from work, I don't have anything to do, so I can invest that time in a bird. Did your dad do it too? No. Oh, just no. you? He had a buddy that did it. Gotcha. Yeah. All right. Ho, ho, ho is what you say. He said, you got to sound like Santa. I guess, ho, ho, ho. Ho, ho, ho. Oh, I got you, bub. Bubba, I told you it was thick in here. These are thorns. Come on, buddy. Come on. Go this way. Go that way. All right. Well, now she's up again. Uh, changing trees again. Sure. Look at that. What? So you got a piece of meat on there. So this is her lure. Oh, it's her lure. Yeah. So piece of right meat. Right. Oh. The lure is for uh, emergency situations. So it's also what I use to trade her off. Gotcha. Um, so I need my bird back right now. Mm-hmm. You pull that lure out. When they come to it, they get a full meal. Gotcha. So every time they see it. They you come have right to have, for it. You have to have the pride, the, yeah, the reward. The reward, yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yep. Makes sense. Well, now she's moved back over to her original perch in the big tree. We uh, flushed a cottontail. He went over there on the other side of the lodge. Right, we'll just get over this hill and then we'll come right back down that path. Okay. Well, she left the big tree. Now she's over here on the west side of the property right in front of where we scared the cottontail into so we're gonna flush she very this. well very well might have seen it and that's why she had it over there oh their eyesight uh, earlier he told me at a hundred yards if you had their vision at a hundred yards you'd be able to re read a newspaper yep that's crazy um, dude. you can see medium-sized prey from a mile away that's so, insane something about the size of a duck or a rabbit <laughs> So here's my plum stick at the tap, rabbit went in. Yeah. We're gonna flush him out. She's faced the right way. Oh, oh, she, she ran. Out. Oh, yep, she saw that rabbit. They just flushed another rabbit. Keep it moving. Well, we better head that way. We're gonna push this real quick while we're Okay. We got two rabbit situations. I can't film it all, guys. <laughs> it's tough to film. It's, it's tough. Like, he, like he said, he was like, Bob, I'm gonna tell you, it's one of the hardest things to film. I think the only thing you could do was get a big lens and have me do this and press and do that. Just gotta put the hours in, yeah. Yeah, you gotta just try. Here she comes. Oh, here we go. So if she sees this rabbit come out of here, she's gonna go. She's gonna go. This is where he went. This is all thorns called Red Brian. He is trucking through. He said, that's rabbit heaven. <laughs> this is cool. That's a good spot. Is that a good spot? From that tree, does she only come down where you start? What's that? Does she only like to come down from where you start at? No, she just doesn't like to come for small pieces. Oh. She wants to hunt. She did not like that other bird. No. You want to tell us what happened? So she didn't she... eat a bunny? What's that? So we didn't find any bunnies? No, she, we found some, but she was not in position. There's nothing in my hand, see? Nothing there. The hood, um, this one got smushed so she can still see light through it, um, which is why she's looking down at her feet. You can see that gap. Yeah. Um, I need a different size hood. It's the only one I have, though. Uh, the hood is supposed to block out all light, so it keeps them totally calm. So if you're in a, in, like, if there's dogs running around everywhere, um, if there's a hundred people and they're all screaming and the birds getting freaked out, you pop that hood on, they can still hear. It just calms them down. But they can't see, so they're visual. Um, if they can't see, they're calm. Mm -hmm. To them, it's no it's different than nighttime. Kill. Wow. <laughs> Your kill's pretty. Yeah. But What'd you bring? <laughs> cookie dough and cookies and cream. Awesome. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
cookie dough. <laughs> Your own little pack? Yeah. Awesome. Do you like own infant dots or something? No, I do. No, I, I do that. flavor development. Flavor development? And international marketing. Really? I haven't had this kind, mommy. I haven't had this kind in a long time. You sure can. I, cookie dough. Put in there, Charlie Joe. We we make it. No pun intended. It rains. <laughs> what do you mean? We make it rain. So it drips. So it drips. Oh, and like then it shot. like freezes it freezes it automatically. Freezes it when it hits the liquid nitrogen. Oh, that's cool. So it, it and then it falls inside the liquid nitrogen. Imagine very, like, you could flavor. have these little things into uh, a. Paper. Uh, we've done a seasonal one. That'd be crazy. Like Java Delight. Yeah. Ready? Yep. Yeah. You guys ready? Y'all ready? Ready. That is sweet. She is insane. Was it cool? Yeah. That was cool, wasn't it? Mm -hmm. Rest in peace to one of the pigeons, but good cause. I uh, hope you guys appreciated that. Yep, pigeon had to take the uh, kick the bucket, but they're feral pigeons, and it's the ones I trap, so it's really not a big deal. Look at her. That was awesome. Dude, I didn't even see her coming underneath the tree. Yeah. And she went in between the fence wires. Unreal. So now you just make sure she doesn't eat the bone or what? No, nah, she'll eat the whole thing. So hawks have uh, their digestive acids are strong enough to dissolve bone. Right. Um, so like everybody dissected an owl pellet as a kid. Right. If you find a pellet and it has bone in it, it's from an owl. Owl's digestive juices are not strong enough to dissolve bone. Yeah. Um, hawks, falcons, eagles, they are. Gotcha. So. That's unreal, man. That was amazing. That was that was really cool. What had I happened? I would have liked her to stay over here. Right. Like you said, we can't go over there. Right. She was looking at something down in those bushes. Yeah. If we were allowed to go over there, no doubt we right. would have had some some better footage. But right. But, you gotta take what you can get. Like I said, it's hard to film. It is hard to film. Um, especially when they go across the road and yeah. you know, all stuff like that. So we had to call her. He was like, one, one of two things. Either we can get a pigeon and throw it down here, pull off the flight feathers, and film her nailing it. Or I can call her back with, uh, with a bait. So yep. that was amazing, man. Now she's going to be full. She'll be, like you said, she'll be ready to fly tomorrow again. Yes. Gotcha. Yeah. It's going to get nice and cold tonight. So she's... She, uh, she'll lose even a little bit more weight. She was a tad high today, mm -hmm. um, but meant doable. Right. Um, but with the weather we have coming tonight, yeah. tomorrow should be real hungry. Right. Because uh, obviously no different than ducks and geese. It's cold, they gotta eat. Right. So. That was awesome. So what was crazy, she had crossed the road. You guys probably don't know the story. She crossed the road and she landed over there in them tall trees. Well then, we put the pigeon out here to get her back to the house over the property. Yeah, sorry. I had a boo-boo. My thumb. It hurts. But then, she came through here, as you guys probably seen, and she shot this gap between these two wires. See the fence? Yeah. That was... That was unreal. And what you're feeding her, that's a goose leg, right? Speck leg, I believe. Speckle belly leg that you cleaned. 
took all the feathers off and she, he said that she's gonna break it break the the leg at the joint and eat both parts I mean she eats the whole entire pheasant legs from the hip all the way down to the toes she eats the whole thing really that's the nutrition to them they don't waste they're not like us yeah there's no waste with them that little piece right in front of her on the ground when she swallows that bone she'll eat that little piece wow Just ate it. That one might be a little long. We're gonna find out. Isn't that crazy? There it goes. Dang. She's crazy. Offer more treats? Yeah, just positive reinforcement. Gotcha. That's so cool. So you just always have little slivers of meat on you everywhere. Yeah, tidbits. 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 And that's gonna clean up all these little scraps. That's so cool. She's pretty. She is pretty. She does want every little piece on the ground. No waste. No waste. She's awesome. So awesome. Well, I thought it was cool. Yeah, we did not get uh, the hawk, Tyler's hawk. We didn't get her to actually attack prey and actually do her job with hunting. Uh, the first flight day, she was a little heavy, Tyler said. She had ate a little much. And she had a wound on her foot from that squirrel. So by the second day, she was real, uh, real, real hungry, but ready to fly. And we about lost her over the road. So Tyler was like, hey, man, can we just bait her back? I really don't want to lose my bird today. And we wanted to get her on film, and he yeah. wanted us to explain that. Yeah, and Tyler wanted us to kind of explain the baited pigeon. Uh, in the tradition of falconry, uh, using bait birds like that, what do you say, stationed birds or uh, stalked prey? Stalked prey. Um, it's that is not tradition, uh, but that is a way to get your bird back. Like you seen, he had a piece of meat on him at all times that he could wave and bring his bird back to him. We use the pigeon because we wanted to get it on film, exactly. actually hitting the prey. And you can see there's like a slow motion shot, where you can't get that on a rabbit. No, and that was something he wanted to see. And all the kids were there. They yeah. wanted to see the bird attack. So. Rest in peace to one of the pigeons. But that is not tradition. Uh, that is just That was just for you guys and for us to, to see her work. So, if you like the video, please smash a thumbs up button for us. Uh, for Tyler and his dad, uh, my, me and the family and all the boys, we had one heck of a time out there smacking bushes around and trying to flush out rabbits. But that was fun. Uh, if you want to see it again, Tyler will be back next year. So, we all got to wait a year for it. But subscribe if you haven't. Until next time.